Hello everyone, uh, my name is Mr. Scott and we're gonna have a fun time counting, right? But before we start the count, um, I'm gonna ask you a question. Which body part do you need to see? Let me ask that again. Which body part do you need to see or observe things? Can, do you need your lips to see? Do you need your nose to see? What about your ears? Do you need your ears to see? What do you need to see? I think you got it right if you said your eyes. Yeah, you need your eye to see. Yes. You need your eyes to see. And that is what we're gonna talk about today. Tell me some things that you do with your eyes. Or tell me some things that you see with your eyes. What do you see now? Can you see what's in back of me? Right? <laughs> so we're gonna play a little math game and we're gonna play it with some dice and we're gonna play it with some eyes, right? How many eyes do you have? You have three, what about four? Or what about five? Let's count how many eyes we have. We have one, and then we have two. We have two eyes. We only have two eyes. Hmm. So let's play a little math game with our eyes, right? Now, if you see this cubic, this cubic half, every cubic usually has six numbers on it, right? So it has one dot, two, three, what's the next one? What's the next one? Four, right? And then we have five. And then, our last, we have six. Yes, we have six. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna roll the dice, and then we're gonna count. Everybody say count. We're gonna count the dots from the roll to identify the number. So we're gonna count the, the dots from the roll, right? But before we count, can you predict? If I roll this, I'm gonna predict it's gonna to roll to the second dot, right? There's gonna be two dots on here. Yeah, if I roll it, I think it's gonna be two dots. Let's see. Because it could only could be between one and six dots. It could be one dot, two dots, three dots, four dots, or five dots. I think it's gonna be two dots. Let's see. Did I, was I correct? No, it was four dots. One, two, three, four. Let me roll it again. <gasps> one dot. I still, I wanna roll it on for two dots, right? Nope, I didn't get it correct. Well, how about you try? We're gonna roll a dot, roll roll it um the dice, and and then we're gonna identify the number on the we're gonna identify the number on each roll. All right, so let's do it. Oh, I finally rolled it on a. Can you count? One, two. Yes, that's two. So I'm gonna put it up here. We have two. And I think we wanna count out the eyes to match the roll on the die, on the dice, right? So we wanna count the eyes to match the number. So let's see, we have one, We have two. Did I get it correct? One, two. 
One, two. Two eyes, two dots. Yes. Let's try it again. We'll put our number up here. We'll roll the dice again. Can you predict the number that's going to be put, that's going to be on the dice? Let's see. <gasps> that is the number what? Anybody know? That's the number one. So we're going to count the eyes to match the roll on the die. So we want it to be one, right? So let me see if I could put one eye. All right. Did I put one eye to match the number? Is that right? Let's count. One, two. No, it only supposed to be one, right? So I'm going to take away one just to see if it's going to be the right number. One, one. I matched it, yes. Did you match? Yes, matched it. So let's put that up here. All right, so let's roll again. Can you predict which number it is? Can it be 100? Do we have that many dice there? No, we don't have that many dice. It only could be between one and six. So it could be a one, it could be a two, it could be a three, it could be a four, it could be a five or a six. Let's see. What is this number? Mm. Let's count. One, two, three, four. It's four. Yes. It's four. So how many pairs of, how many um, eyes can we put on there? One, two, three, four. So we need four eyes, right? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Five. Wait a minute. Did I get that right? Let me count the eyes. Let's put this up here. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. No. It's supposed to be how many? It only supposed to be four. Let me take away one and let's see if we get four. One, two, three, four. Four eyes. Four dots. We matched the number. Yes, we did. So let's put these up right here. All right. So can you predict again which number um, we're going to choose with the dice? Let's try it again. What number is that? That's one. So we only need one I. We only need one I. One I, one dot. Yes, one I, one dot. Mm. All right. So let's do it again. We're going to do it a couple of more times. What number is that? I think we chose that one before. Can you guess what number is that? Can you count it? One, two, three, four. Right, four. So let's put that many pair, that, that many eyes on it. One, two, three, four. Yes, that's four eyes because it's four dots one two three four one two three four yeah so let's do it again but let's try to pick it from this pile all right we're gonna roll it again ah can you count 
Let's see this number. One, two, three, four, five. We have five. Yes. So let's put five on there. Let's put five eyes. Now, is this five eyes? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's not six, six eyes. It's only supposed to be five, right? Because there's five dots. One, two, three, four, five. So if he's going to match it up, it would be one, two, three, four, five. Six, we have to take away one, right? Let's take away just one. Now let's see if we have our match. One, two, three, four, five. It's five. Hmm. Yes. And five dots. So you got it right if you got that correct. Do you notice anything that's that's here? These are all supposed to be eyes, but what are they? They're they're different in which way? They're different in sizes, right? We have some that's big and some that's medium. And we have some that's small, right? Yes, big, medium, and small. And if you look at your eyes and you look at someone else's eyes, you will notice differences too, right? You will notice that your eyes are different than your mother or your father's eyes, than your friend's eyes. It's gonna be different in shape and it's gonna be different in size. So we have different size eyes, right? Now, quickly, can we match up the, the medium with the um, medium and the big with the big and the small with the small? Can we find the one with the same size? Let's try out the, the big eyes first, right? Let's see if we can find any big eyes that's here. Can you find any big eyes that's here? Hmm. We have a couple of big eyes that's here. If you find them, we could put them right under the big eyes. Yes, we could do that. Because... And why would we put them under the same eyes? Because they're the what? They're the same size, right? So we want to put it near with the same size. So let's see if we could put it with the same size, medium with medium, and small with small, right? Yes. There we go. Did I do a great job? Matching them up? What do you think? Do I get a thumbs up? <laughs> do I get a thumbs up? No, I don't get a thumbs up because not yet, because some of them doesn't look like they're the same size. Right? Hmm. This is medium. Right? But this is small. Or well, this is big, right? So let's put the big with the big. And the medium. This looks like it's the same size as the medium. That doesn't look like that matches, right? So let's put the big with the big, right? And the medium with the medium. And the small with the small. Yes, the small with the small. Hmm. Did I match it? Was that a is that a perfect match? Hmm. Wow. I think that's a perfect match. I think we did a good job. And last, how about we say how about we count to see which I have the most, right? Or the greatest. Who has the most eyes? Is it the big, is it the medium, or is it the small? We could do this by counting. 
Yes, we could do this by counting, right? And then we have some with, let's see which one has the less, and then we'll see which one has the, the same or the, the identical amount. Let's count one, two, three, four, five. This one has five. Hmm. And this one has one, two, three. This only has three. And this has one, two, three, four, five. So the, the big eyes have five, the medium has three, and the small has five. Five big eyes, three medium eyes, and five small eyes. Five and five is the same. It's the same amount. Five and five is the same amount. I think the medium ones has the less amount, right? Yes, you could do this at home. Or you could um, draw something that you see with your eyes, right? Yes, you could do all this at home. You could practice at home with any counter or any um, object like that you want, whether it's pennies or beans or buttons, marbles, paper clips. Um, you could you could do this project at home with anything and you could you could um, count it by size, you could you could um, you could change, you could count it by color color, um, you could do anything that you want and have fun, right? So um, good job everybody. I know you did a good job at home. Um, have a great day.